fat vanity. Fat vanity is some of the highest magic, and I'm gonna tell you why. I really do mean vanity, V-A-N-I-T-Y, being vain, being obsessed with yourself and your beauty and your body and your style and your talent and your energy and your aura. Do you know how many people in my lifetime have told me that my body's inherently wrong? What kind of magic is it though? Do you have to go to Hogwarts to learn how to get this magic? Or do you just have to be really, really obese and somehow you just start emanating magicka off your body? Like how exactly does this work? Where does it come from? Your armpits, the grease folds? Where exactly do you get this magic? I think these people just kind of say things just to make it seem like it's a lot cooler than it actually is. Dude, fat vanity being magic is crazy. How do you even say those words, dude? Can I say the same thing about me? Skinny, having a long neck is like the highest form of magic. Guys, you're missing out, okay? Look at the amount of magicka that I'm just like spewing off myself. I can literally levitate things and people all the time. Uh, that might be my dementia or deliria, but yeah, like what are we doing right now, dude? Having to say that this is some kind of magic, dude, it's not magic, it's diabetes. You guys are literally suffering on a daily basis. And I don't care how many times you do this, you know, like push your hands down your fucking stomachs and, do, you know, like sensually to try to emphasize the beauty that is your body. And by the way, if somebody tells you that your body is inherently bad, maybe actually listen to them because most of the time, if they're saying that about you, they're probably, probably being correct. Now, if somebody's just being mean, then obviously they're just being mean. But in this particular scenario, dude, you're obese. Okay, I hate to tell you. And also, I really don't like it when people wear really, really, like, absurd lipstick colors. Like, for what is this, blue or black or something like this? Like, I don't have a problem with it inherently for being this color. But when you open your mouth, I can see the inside of your mouth. And then I can see the pink from your lips. And it looks weird. It looks really weird. Because I know your lips aren't normally that color. It's usually not a problem with the top lip. But usually the bottom lip. Because, like, it's wet. Right? So you can't, like, in apply inside your mouth. Can you? I don't know how that works exactly. But... I don't wear makeup. There was only one time I wore makeup and it didn't actually do anything for me because it was like black girl makeup. So it didn't appropriately fit me and it was like really, really weird coloring. And I look bronze, but uh, I don't have that picture anymore. Maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe you're seeing it on screen. I don't think I do though. But anyway, um, yeah, it's not magic. It's diabetes. That's <laughs> That should be the title of this video. It's not, it's not fat girl magic. It's diabetes. Yeah, there you go. Do you know how many people in my lifetime have told me that my body's inherently wrong? Why is it wet? Like, why does it look wet on your... Don't they tell people to not wear really, really light colors on the top part and then, like, black underneath because it conflicts really, really hard? Oh, man, her nails are actually really nice, though. I actually really like these nails, dude. Like, checkered pattering? That's really nice. But it looks kind of wet, doesn't it? It kind of looks moist. I kind of imagine fat people just walking around all day just kind of moist, if that makes any sense. Kind of like, it just, like, drizzled a little bit and you didn't have an umbrella and then your body just kind of gets coated with the, the magical lubrication that god bestows upon us or whatever deity you believe in i feel like it's like that all the time for fat people because think about this right you're always sweating you know how many fat people i know that will be in the middle of like winter time it'll be like mm, i would say 30 degrees out and these dudes would be like damn bro it's kind of hot right now taking off their sweater and shit like that and i'm just sitting there going like bro what you talking about it's really cold out right now it's literally snowing but they don't feel the same thing that I or you do, right? One, because they're consistently eating. So they're like constantly boosting their metabolism. So warming themselves up like a furnace consistently always burning inside of them. And then also because their body requires so much extra fuel, it's like always burning as well. So you got like that double entendre. So I, I couldn't even imagine like the sweat, the grease, you know what I'm talking about? Where you lift up like the fat folds and then it's just grease right there. I mean, look at me, right, dude? No, arm. I was outside today. I went outside, dude. I explored the world, the natural realm of stuff like that. I was really only outside because I had to return my internet stuff and they were gonna charge me money if I didn't because I got new internet and the old internet was like, yeah, um, that's real awesome that you're, like, getting rid of us, but we need our shit back now, today, today. And I put it off for too long, and then, then I had to go out today because, like, it was literally the last day, so I had to do it. But, uh, yeah, I went outside today, and there was people, and they were talking to me and stuff like that, mostly homeless people asking me if I smoke cigarettes, which I don't. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't know why so many people ask me if I smoke cigarettes or if I have weed. No, I don't. I don't have either of those things. I don't know why so many people presume that I indulge in the illicit substances. I don't even drink alcohol, dude. But I don't, like, look down upon you for doing that. Also, I always get dissuaded when I see people walking up to other people and asking them for money. And I know that you're not actually using that money for food, right? Because, like, sometimes, you'll, like, I remember I was at a McDonald's and there was a guy asking for food. And a late, I was like, no, 
No, because you know how many times I've been bamboozled by dudes coming up to me asking me for money and then I give them a dollar or two and they don't even use it. Like they just sit there and go, oh, thanks, man. I just walk out of the establishment, dude. I, just tell me you want it for crack, right? But these, I remember one time I was downtown, dude, and there was these guys, right? And they had they had a whole big thing of uh, candy bars that they were selling, right? For like their school or whatever. But these guys look like they were 25, 26. And they were selling them for like a, a chocolate bar, right? Or like let's say an M&M's. Like uh, you know those things of, of M&M's, right? He was selling it for $5, which is ridiculous by the way. I don't know who the fuck is buying that shit for $5. But a, a, a young Asian man actually did buy it. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, I'm just doing this for my school. And the dude had like drool and he had like white stuff coming out the side of his mouth. This dude obviously was a crackhead of some kind. And he gave him $5 for this and took the M&Ms. And I'm just thinking like, dude, you could have just went into the CVS literally right there and got the M&Ms for like 250 or something. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You just contributed to that man's addiction, right? You should have just gave me the $5, right, dude? I would have told you you're beautiful for giving me the $5. I would have gave you way more value than that. But, nope, he gave him the $5, dude. And I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. Like, if you're going to do crack, tell me you're going to do the crack, you know? If you want the money, I'm not going to give it to you regardless. But I just want a little bit of truth. I've been bamboozled too many times, dude. But um, I'm sure some homeless people actually want food. But sometimes it's just not even the case, dude. You walk into a McDonald's and there'll be a dude there like, yeah, can I get some money for some Big Mac or some shit like that? And you go, yeah, yeah I'm going to buy you some food. And you're like, nah, I just need the money, dog. I just need the money. You're like, nah, nah, nah. I got you, bro. I got points. I'll get you the Big Mac. No problem. And he'd be like, nah, forget it. Forget about it. And he's like, all right, bro. I mean, if you wanted drugs, just say that. You want drugs. Do you know how many people in my lifetime have told me that my body's inherently wrong? No. Something tragic. Something to be... Bro, get the fuck. What are you doing right now, bro? What are you lifting up your shirt? What are you showing off right now? Where's your belly button at? What the fuck? Where's your belly button, dude? It's supposed to be right there. Okay. Oh, what are you doing, man? This is weird, bro. This what kind of transformative fat art is this? Lifetime have told me that my body's inherently wrong. Something tragic, something to be fixed at the earliest possible Ugh. moment so that I might Where still is have it? a chance to lead a happy life. Bro, can, hold up. Can I go back real quick? Something to be fixed at the earliest possible moment so that Where is it, dude? Is it like underneath? Why is your belly button not there? That's not normal, dude. I don't know why. So many fat people have their belly buttons like 15 inches lower than they actually are. And they, they, they don't think that's an issue. Dude, your belly button's supposed to be like right here. Like in the middle, right? Like here, look. Right here, that's my belly button. Can you see the end? I'm not going to show you my midsection. But I do got the hips, don't lie. But that's my belly button right there. You can see it, right? See it? That's my belly button right there. I got an any. And her belly button is like down here. Like it's like all the way down the leg. That's not normal. That's not a good thing, by the way, dude. You're not supposed to have your belly button all the way down by your kneecaps, man. But, you know, go off, queen. That I might still have a chance to lead a happy life. True. I think most definitely if you lost some weight, you would most definitely have an improvement to your life. But you're caught in your ways. You're sitting there with all that highlight on your eyes, dude. You got the black lipstick that doesn't really do anything. It kind of, I don't know, it just kind of looks like you're anemic. When I know you're not anemic because you're probably eating way too much. But... It's not, it's not a flex to go on the internet and be like, ah, oh, I got that fat girl magic. I got that fucking fat girl magic. Check me out. Wingardi Leviosa type shit. No, dude, nobody gives a fuck about that. What are you even talking about? What are you even flexing right now? Nobody gives a fuck that you're fat. And by the way, I know you don't got, I know you don't got magic. It's actually just mustiness. That's what you should be calling it. Fat girl musties. That's what you should call it, okay? How could you know? I looked at you. <laughs> My eyes work. <laughs> I don't need glasses. I saw you. And then I was like, damn, fat. She real big, dude. She real big, man. Damn, dude. I actually really like this. Is this like a ring? Does she have tattooed a ring? Dude, that's meta as hell, dude. Can you imagine being like, oh, yeah, this is my ring. And it's just a tattoo of a ring. That's actually pretty cool, man. What is your lipstick leaking? Look, look. You see like the interior of the lips. You can start to see where the actual lips are like pink, you know? It just looks weird. It just looks weird to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. But, uh, yeah, you could live a happy life, but you're caught in your ways, man. So that I might still have a chance to lead a happy life. How could you know? Unless you're fat. I don't need to be fat to know that you have a problem, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Do I need to be a cat to know I'm a cat? Do I need to be a dog to know what a dog is? No, dude. Uh, that's like, what kind of busted ass logic is that, dude? That's literally like going to the doctor and having your woman doctor come in and you got a penis issue and going... I can't have you really in the room right now. Um, I'm going to need a dude probably with as much meat as me 
So get a doctor in here with at least 15 inches of, you know, just a uh, nut sack. And then come in because like you're a woman you can't possibly understand what it's like or what it is to be a big meated massive man such as myself get the fuck out of my room right now i don't like you um i'm all for feminism but nah fuck you get out let me get the man let me get the dude that's what you're basically saying you don't have to be fat to know that you have issues bro that's ridiculous that's like somebody saying you have to be a crackhead to know when somebody's a crackhead no the fuck you don't you just look at them dude what are you talking about no dude that's ridiculous stop saying that that's a bad logical stream, and I just broke it. You don't even believe that shit. a happy life. How could you know? Unless you're fat. Any fat person who makes it over into vanity is a miracle. What are you talking about, man? What is your life right now? can you do something else? Isn't there anything else you can do besides making this cringe-ass shit on TikTok, man? I don't know. Go, go play, like, League of Legends or something, dude. Go drink iced tea. Fat people don't ever apologize or feel shallow for taking a selfie. <laughs> I could think of a few times where somebody does that. I don't know. Loving That's a weird ass statement. I'm sorry. That was a weird. I I can't even disagree with that because it's such a weird statement. That's like somebody saying like, oh, you know, you don't ever apologize for using a spoon when eating cereal. Okay. All right. That's all right, dude. You're not wrong. But like, why was it even the purpose of saying it? Fat people don't ever apologize or feel shallow for taking a selfie. Your loving self-focus is a powerful inversion of the self-obsession you've been encouraged to have. Can you go back to the magical argument, though? I want to know about that magic shit. I want to know what you mean by magic. Do you mean, like, when you walk into rooms and people see you and smell you and go, <gasps> and then they walk out? Is that, like, magical to you? Like, they, 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 like, move around you, if that makes any sense? You know what I'm talking about? Is that the reason? Because you're so musty? Is that the reason, dude? No, is that not the reason? What do you, What is the magic exactly, dude? I'm going to need to probably know what the magic is today, right now. One that makes oh, you blue. obsess out of fear. One that makes you punish and control your body. It's not punishment to lose weight, by the way. I don't know. Man, these people have a weird way of looking at weight loss, man. It's not punishment. I mean, kind of. Like, But then again, what you're doing is also punishment. Like, I guess you can look at it as punishment. But that's a really weird way of looking at punishment, dude. Like, would you... Cons would you look at punishment as somebody saying, I'm, instead of eating this candy bar, I'm going to eat an apple? Would you think that's punishment? Because, like, that's basically what you're saying right now. You're basically saying, like, oh, choosing the food that makes you feel better is punishment. In the same way that, like, losing weight is going to make you feel better, but it's technically punishment because you're not eating the foods that you want to eat, which are probably, like, donuts greased up, like, chicken noodles and stuff like that. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, sure, you can look at it like that, but, like, nobody else is going to look. You're weird. That's a weird way of looking at it, dude. I guess. I mean, that's that's part of their ideology. One that makes you obsess out of fear. One that makes you punish. It kind of, I think I think this is a mole. Like, I'm not going to hate on it. It's fine. You have a mole. But it's, like... It makes it look like your your lips are dripping a little bit or you fucked up. You see what I'm talking about, dude? I just don't like it, man. I just don't like the uh, the interior lip the interior pink lipness. And control your body. You deserve fat vanity. Here's the thing. What about a calorie deficit? What about a a, a good a nice diet? What, 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 what about sh what about shape to your body and face? You deserve that. Thing. Sizz's song, Big Boy Season, it's catchy. Dude, this makeup is terrible, dude. Ooh, ooga booga. Damn, bro, what's up with girls, like, sh fluffing out their eyebrows? I don't like it. I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. Why you care so much about the, the makeup, dude? What are you doing? Damn, bro, what are you doing? Got the... All right, man, stop. And I really like it. And also, it... If you don't know the song, it's cuffing season... Uh, the boys are leaving. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. Yeah, that's the song, by the way. And uh, that's fine. You know, I like that song too. If SZA like big men, I don't. I think she's technically single right now. I don't know if she's indulging into the big menish. But big boys are nice. You know, as long as you're getting one that ain't gonna drop his whole gut on your back and you know induce scoliosis upon your frame, because then it's probably all right. You know, if you like a big busky man. Kind of like a lumberjack body a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? A little bit of gut. I know some women that do like that personally, and that's fine. Um, that's that's perfect. I'm not here to hate on anybody's sexual preferences and what your beauty standards are or whatever the fuck. As long as that dude ain't dropping the gut on your back, it's probably fine. You know? Because, like, most dudes that are that size don't look. <laughs> I don't want to hate on anybody. But 
if you're fat as a man, it's not advantageous, okay? For one, I don't know how much meat you got, how much scepter you got, but when you look down, you don't see it, it's not a good thing, okay? Um, for one, that means your meat ain't big enough, and then two, also, you might be working off two different things, which is your gut is a little bit too big, too. So if you got a big belly, big belly, and you got a small meat, oh, man, I can't even believe that kind of thing you got going on. In today's world, too, you need a big meat in today. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Big meats are incentivized. People watch porn. And when you watch porn, it's not cool anymore to watch dudes with averages anymore, like medium-sized meats. So, like, dudes with five inches. You need, you, you're you watching a dude with ten inches. Don't act like I'm the liar here. Ten inches is average nowadays, Okay. If you don't got 10 inches, you got to try to make it look like it's 10 inches, right? It's like going to the gym. You're not working out to be stronger. You're working out to look like you're stronger, if that makes any sense. I mean, sure, there are plenty of guys out there or women out there that are looking, that are trying to be stronger, right? But most people are going to the gym for aesthetical purposes. They're trying to look like they can lift a lot, and that's fine. And the same thing could be said for the meat. If you can make it look like your meat is a lot bigger than it actually is, then you're good, right? When you take... A dick pic right hear me out on this it might be okay to sit there and put like a a paper mache cut out of a couple buildings right and then have like a video of your meat just coming through this the side of the frame you know like godzilla or something like that and then when you send it to her she's gonna look at that like oh my god it's it's so big it's so crazy it's so juiced up is mad oh my god but you it's a lie right it's not actually that big it's just within the context of where you're putting it she thinks that your meat is in new york city right now but it's not. It's just paper. You made that building out yourself, right? And you, it, you know what I'm talking about? Like have something in the foreground maybe. Maybe when you hold up like buy a can of Coke, right? And then put it like close. Put it closer to the camera. or And then like have your meat like right there. You know what I'm talking about? And then take a picture and make it look like it's a lot bigger than it actually is. There's a whole bunch of technique. I never need to do this personally. But I know the techniques because I can always make my shit look way bigger than it actually is. But I usually run out of storage before my, my camera can even uh, take all the picture capacity that I need. But uh, anyway. Fat phobic. It's catchy. And I really like it. And also, it's fat phobic. How does it feel knowing that you like something that's fat phobic? Damn, bro. That's that's crazy, bro. That'd be like a racist dude, you know, a dude that like only fucks with white supremacy going, you know, but I kind of like, I, I don't know, I kind of like Ice Cube a little bit. You know, he had that one song. I like Doja Cat, kind of, you know, but yeah, I hate, I, I hate black people, but you know, Doja Cat, not bad, right? Right, guys? Yeah, no, no, you were totally right. Black guys, nope, can't do that one. But, but that Oregon Hill song was not bad, right? I mean, it, it couldn't have been all black people working on that song, right? Like it's like something like that. Like it's like fundamentally, you know, the the dissonance is crazy. Like you gotta you gotta really work through that because if you think the song is good in your mouth and you're probably singing it to yourself, but then you also think that the song is fat phobic, damn, I don't even know how you I don't even know how you work that through your brain. Big boys are not seasonal. Number one. Number two, all the different, like, portrayals of big boys, like, in the, like, SNL skit of it all perpetuates fat phobia. And I'm also wanting to know, will you all give the same love and attention and care and excitement to your big femmes? My big what? Femmes? Dude, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. We obviously... Whatever, dude. All right, sure. Yeah, most people... <laughs> being fat as a girl is more... Ex okay, let me think about this a little bit. <sighs> there is a double standard in society on how people look. Men don't usually get... Men don't usually get criticized or critiqued based off the body size. Like, most men, most people don't give a fuck if a guy is fatter or a little bit bigger or a big man because most people just, in general, don't care about how guys look, right? Women are... Always going to be judged more so based off their physical appearance compared to men, right? But I feel like women are more accepted while being fat, right? Because most people, in, in this weird like dichotomy of men, not nobody really cares about how men look. And everybody really cares about how women look. But I feel like being fat as a woman is like, okay. Whereas for men, it's like most people don't even care about you in general. You know what I'm talking about? And a lot of men don't even care about themselves in general, right? Like what's like, I heard somewhere that like, 
the the chances of men dying from prostate cancer are much more increased but not because it, like men get it more frequently than women but because men don't go to the hospital to get it diagnosed or like get the finger up the butt or whatever like a lot of guys don't get that um which is really really terrible like i get it you don't want to break your like i'm a virgin right now right like i'm a virgin but i get blood work done and stuff like that and they said my prostate is delicious but a lot of men don't want to go in and not be virgins but it's not really if you go in, okay, if you're a guy and you go in to get your prostate exam, you're still a virgin, right? You're still a virgin. Like, don't think that if the doctor's going in there and he's doing whatever this, I don't know if he puts two or three fingers in. I don't know what the capacity of your butt cheeks are, if, you know, whatever it might be. But I know that you're you're still good. Like, you're all right. You know, you're not, you're not gay. You're not losing your virginity if you get a prostate exam. I want everybody to know that. If you're a man and you're getting a prostate, you're still a virgin. Okay, like that's not how that works. Like if women, okay, hear me out. If two women had sex, right? There's no penetration, but they still had sex, right? You understand? In the same way that if you're in the doctor's office and he, inst- you know, and then he gives you a little something extra in there, it's not gay. It's not. It's not. You know, what I'm talking about. It's different. It's a different orientation type of thing. You know, it's 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 a it's a different type of. Don't feel you're not gay, and you're also not. You're still a virgin, technically. You're fine. You're good. You're fine, dude. Um, but that's if you don't care about that, then it's fine too. Like if you're already not a virgin, then it's fine. Whatever. But as a man, if you want to get a prostate, I don't even know what we're talking about, dude. Let's go back. And attention quick. and care and excitement to your big femmes. Oh yeah, I think most people care about. Like most people are probably more okay with big girls than big guys like you got one song for big guys and you're over here trying to bring it back to men i mean women like what are you talking about there we can't have one song i don't know if this i don't know if this necklace is m or me but i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it a buck if you have a necklace that says me on it dude get the fuck out my face dude how the fuck you going (sighs) you ever walk into somebody's house before and they just have pictures of themselves up and you just like look at that and like oh um what is this and they go like oh yeah that's just me when i was 20 and then you go i'm like oh but like why like why do you have just pictures of yourself right am i wrong like when you look through somebody's phone and their background is just a picture of them don't you kind of get a little bit weirded out by that don't you look at that and go and like why like why why have you like what why are you looking at yourself you know like what do you talk why do you have this why do you have so many pictures of yourself around why do you have this? Like, do you not have a mirror? You can't, like, look at yourself? Why do you need pictures of yourself? Why do you, you know, like, why do you look at your phone and have that? This, to me, is a little weird. It's a little weird for me, personally. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can say something in the comment section about this. But sometimes I'll look at that. I'm like, what are you doing right now? Why do you have so? Are you beating off to yourself? Like, what do you, like, it's fine if you are. But it's, like, it's a little weird. But I hope this is M and it's, like, flipped. Um, I hope it's, I really hope it's not me. And your big thems? Your big thems. You're taking away the entire purpose right now, by the way. Like, if you're sitting here and you're going, listen, it's real great to appreciate fat men, but let's appreciate fems and thems. You're taking away the purpose. You're taking away the entire purpose, dude. We can't have nothing. We can't have no song dedicated to big, beautiful, busty, big butted men. We can't have anything, dude. Forget about the dems, forget about the fems, forget about all of that. Let's have it just for the dudes, all right? Big, busky, bountiful men. Yes. And your big women? Yeah. Will oh, you- bro, you just said fems, dude. What do you get? Get the show, my. You? Because I know you won't. Dude, your overline is crazy, bro. What are you doing? You fuck that shit up, dude. You can't be getting this close, bro. <laughs> you can't back that shit up a little bit. <laughs> kind of fog it up the camera a little bit. Oh, damn, dude. You got that dragon's breath. I just wonder, when will we be praised? Dude, you you guys literally, like, if you look at the fat acceptance movement, you guys are all women. Like, there's, like, three gay guys, and there's, like, that one straight dude that's trying to support his wife. Like, that's it. There's It's like looking in the Ellen DeGeneres audience. Like, there's, you know what I'm talking about, dude? You ever see the, the Wendy Williams show before she had dementia? Dude, it's, like, all, it's all women, okay? What do you, what else do you want? You guys got all of it. It's all women, dude. You guys are literally harem. Like, what are you talking about, man? We can't have one song. I'm not even a fat representation, but I still think that those fat guys should have that one song. Just one? We can't even have one without somebody going, what about women? Forget about women. Men, okay? We have the song. That's it. Forget about it. When? When? <laughs> when you gonna get rid of that double chin? When? 
I'm sorry that you don't agree with the fat acceptance move. I'm fat, so I would I would know I'm losing weight and I don't really agree with the whole fat acceptance movement, but I'm just trying to understand it. True, true. But that's not going to stop me from accepting my fat self. And what are you talking about? That person is literally asking, like, I just don't really get it. Like, I just don't really understand the fat acceptance movement. And you're talking about, yeah, um, but I really accept myself. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Dude, what are you saying right now? It's not even about you, bro. This person's asking, like, what is the fat? They're saying they don't understand it. And you're going like, yeah, but like, I accept myself. Acceptance movement. But that's not going to stop me from accepting my fat self. And but nobody accepting cares. other fat people. Including and Dude, what do you have in your nose? Hold on. Especially. What is that? What is this thing in your nose, dude? You ever see uh, you ever see those like paperclip things that you can like open up and they kind of look like the L A the L A A T from Star Wars, right? The gunship. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like that little like black thing, and you could like push it together and like pull pull it apart, and you could like hold papers in place, and you know you could push it together and pull out that metal bit. I feel like it's like I feel like it's that. Like I feel like she just has that metal bit from the laat gunship paperclip thing that she has in her fucking nose dude am i wrong and it's also off it's, it's like off to the side a little bit i don't know whatever man it's fucking... from accepting my fat self and accepting other fat people including and especially fat people who are larger than i am and who exist within multiple marginalizations by the way if you don't know like multiple marginalizations it's like black women black women asian dudes indian guys let me think of what else albino black guys uh damn there's like a few more i guess but those are the ones that are coming to my oh dudes that don't have legs legless dudes yeah people don't understand that weight is nuanced it's not as easy as you know calories in calories out it, sure it's not as easy as a lot of people claim it is but it's a lot easier than you make it out to be and i'm sure you understand this. and when you say things like that when you go like oh it's it's harder than this or it's harder than that i get it but it's simultaneously like you're making it seem like it's a it's like a crazy thing to lose weight it's really not like people can lose weight i get that like it might be difficult to go in through a new diet and choose better food choices and like you know understand calories and nutrition and things like that but it's not as daunting as you make it out to be it's like just learn it passively as you said yourself you are fat i don't think people should have to change how they look to be respected i don't think people should have to be healthy to be respected that's fine you can think those things but you you can't you have to acknowledge to a certain degree that you're not going to be able to do certain things based off of it's not so much about respect it's more so about like you guys continuously complain about accessibility you guys continuously complain about not being able to find seats you guys continuously complain about these things and it's not that the people don't respect you. Like, most people here in the West don't really care. Like, yeah, like, most people are afforded a certain amount of respect just default. And you ask for extra things, that's going to go down. They're going to look at you like, hmm, like, what do you want from us exactly? Like, how do you want us to remedy this? And I don't believe fat people should be discriminated against. It just depends on what you mean. To... It, 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 give me the context. Give me the context what you mean by discrimination, then. Because if you're being discriminated against based off of, like, jobs... Yeah, that makes sense because most of the time if you're like trying to be hired for a position that requires you to do physical activity or not even physical activity in a lot of cases, just simply doing a job for a long period of time that's going to require you to do it like, you know, eight to nine, ten hours a day, it might be difficult for you to be because you're overweight or if you need to go to one end of the office to the next or maybe even, you know, like a physical job where you're just sitting or you're like you're a cashier or something like that where you're on your feet for nine, ten hours a day or something like that, eight, nine, ten hours a day, that's going to be really, really hard for you and you may not fit that particular type of role you're going to be discriminated against it is what it is um but there are other jobs for you and it sucks that you are you are it's not so much they are sure they're discriminated against you but it's more so like your issue if that makes any sense like they you cannot you cannot hold these particular employers to a certain standard when you're not going to be able to execute the job right that you can't blame them if you got if you if we needed you to be like that guy that stands like that runs next to you saying bolt to record him running you're obviously not going to be the guy that they're picking right you're not going to be the guy and the same way that a guy in a wheelchair is not going to be that guy either because he can't run in general so i think it just depends on what you mean when it comes to discrimination not all discrimination is bad i know a lot of people think that discrimination is just a be-all end-all term for just badness it just depends on where you're using it people discriminate against people all the time and i'll give you a good example 
men are discriminated against entering the woman's locker, which is fine. I think that's perfect. But that's acceptable. Like, people think that's okay for the most part. Most people think that's okay. Uh, I know that you think overall, this, if you think overall discrimination is bad, it's always going to be, you know, speaking of nuance, it's always going to be nuance. It just depends on where you're looking. That's fat acceptance. That's fat liberation. And that's bullshit. Like, you just said some bullshit. And if you disagree with that, don't interact with me. That's all right. I mean, shit, dude. Don't even try to have a disagreement. Don't even try to have a conversation about it. Don't even try to like tell me why you disagree with it. Just don't talk to me. That's I mean, shit, dude. I mean, that's fine. That's what you want to do. That's okay. But what you're actually doing is <laughs> what you're actually doing is like if you don't like it, well, fuck you, which is if you want to live in your bubble, that's fine, dude. But you're putting internet videos out and people are going to watch them and react. So did you know that when you talk about your diet or intentional weight loss effort at work or in a professional setting around colleagues, you risk triggering eating disorders? These people have a weird way of thinking about stuff like they. That's like me talking about to a friend like, oh, man, you know, I just I really like playing this one game. Like, I just really, really enjoy playing this game. And then, like, I get called into, like, HR and they go, hey, David. um, So, like, yeah, you were talking about something earlier with a guy and you said that you really like this one game. That's really fun and all that stuff like that. But there was a guy in the – there was a guy also there and he actually is now a heroin addiction because you talked about how you just really like playing games and stuff so now he's a heroin addiction so like yeah you're gonna have to we're firing you because it's like it's over we can't do that anymore we can't like this the problem i see oftentimes is like I, there's this phenomenon called black woman eggshells and i hear this quite a bit from women of color um women that are black that are in working establishments i've heard so many times where people are in the break room they're talking they're doing whatever and a black woman walks in everybody gets quiet because they don't want to offend this black woman and they don't want to say something that may or may not get them fired so what ends up happening is that nobody talks to her nobody says anything to her because they don't know if this person is going to be somebody that just takes offense to it or somebody that doesn't take offense to it it's just better to just not talk about it in general and i think the phenomenon is called walking on black woman eggshells which is really really tough so i mean i see what you're saying like you can't talk about certain things because if you do somebody might get offended by that i get it but simultaneously fuck them fuck them fuck those people dude what do you want from me i'm not i'm, I'm not bro dude you're you're, you're way too thin skinned okay you're so fat and you're but you're way too thin skinned you would think that you would be rolling up with a ton of durability on that but it's just so crazy to me how some people can say you just can't talk about certain things because if you do, this person might envelop an ED or they might go like relapse on something. Like that's crazy to me, dude. No, 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 man. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. Within limitations, obviously. Like if you're in a doctor's office, it probably isn't okay to talk about like, hey, you know, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I kind of think about probably getting a Big Mac after this. What about you? What you thinking about? And uh, sir, this is a, this is a police station. Put the jobs and well-being of your fat colleagues at risk by contributing to and perpetuating weight stigma. Again, these people just really have a weird way of uh, navigating the world, dude. They're just way too sensitive, man. And I get it. Like in certain times, in certain scenarios, it may not be appropriate to talk about certain things. Like it's fine, but. Dude, like the way you're looking at it is like if you say anything even remotely close to your diet exercise, then suddenly you could be hurting somebody else. I'm going to take that risk, dude. I mean, that's not even a crazy topic to talk about, dude. What are you talking about? Like if I'm having a conversation with one of my friends and I'm going like, yeah, bro, I just lost like 20 pounds. I'm I'm lifting tons and tons of weight in the gym. And then somebody comes up to me and goes like, hey, bro, like, you know, I have like an ED and like, I don't really like the way you're talking about this. What the fuck? Who are you, first of all, dude? What are you talking? This is an A B conversation. Move along, bro. Like, what do you want from me? No, I'm gonna talk about what I. This is not even a crazy topic, bro. This is literally one of the most basic bitch conversations you can have with somebody. Talking about the weight progress. Talking about the gym. What you talking about? That's like people talk about this shit all the time. That's normal. And last but certainly not least, for the bejesus that of literally everyone around you, can you please shut the fuck up? Can you do the same though? Like I, I look, bro. Look, look, look. Look in a mirror when you're making this video, okay, dude. Look in a mirror when you're making this video. How the fuck you gonna tell me that I need to shut the fuck up? But when I, when I voice, I need to be quiet when I voice my opinion about literally diet and exercise, which I don't think is a crazy topic. But you, but you, you don't need to be quiet 
because you're fat? How does this even make any sense? How can how, rules for thee, but not for me? How does this work exactly? Because you do understand if you're telling me to be quiet because I'm talking about something you don't like, you do realize that other people can say that exact same thing to you and it would be just as valid. You understand that, right? Like you're not powerful for telling people to be quiet because you you don't like what they're saying. You do understand that's actually a problem. You understand that, that that's actually an issue. That's actually a really big issue on you. That actually makes you stupid because what you're actually saying is that you don't even think that you should talk because if the logic was put upon you, you would have to shut your mouth about whatever the fuck you're talking about, which is something I don't believe in. I think everybody should be free to say whatever bullshit they want to say because it makes you look dumb and I fucking love it. I mean, look at this. You literally just told me to be quiet about diet and exercise when that logic can literally be put right back upon you and equally as well. So you should be quiet given the logic that you just demonstrated right now. It's just so tiring coming onto an app and being made to feel like you're the most ugliest, horriblest, fattest, like person. I, I really I really resonate with Becky here, right, dude? Uh, it's got to be tough. It's got to be tough dealing with the amount of disrespectful comments that she gets and people saying mean things to her. I get it. It's It's got to be tough, right? The internet is a vile place, but it's also one of the most amazing places. The, the dichotomy of the internet is also very, very beautiful because two, two sides of the coin. It's the most beautiful, amazing, absolutely harmonious place ever. And on the other side... You got people that are telling you that you look like a frog legs or you smell like old gym socks or whatever. And you got mustiness emanating off your body or whatever. That It's both sides. You got to accept it for both of it, right? I really hate it when people come on the internet and they cry or they make like videos about how they're disrespected online. I got to keep it a buck to you. Okay, Internet 101, this is exactly what you do not do. Because what you're actually doing is you're like showing your stomach as a gazelle to a lion. Because people are already being disrespectful and now you're just giving them more fuel for the fire. And I'm not here to say that Becky is wrong or right on this in the senses of like the, the, the amount of harassment or bullying or whatever the fuck she's getting. But... This is only going to make it worse, Becky. Like this is this is it. It's like you need to you need to come to the understanding that people are going to be mean, okay? And uh, that's just kind of like the nature of the internet. I'm not saying that you have to accept it. I'm just saying I'm not saying that you have to like it. You just have to accept it. You understand? Like the content that you produce is going to be very very. Uh, people aren't going to like it, right? I mean, this woman, this girl, literally eats like four or five times a day, and it's always disgusting food. It's gonna it's gonna bring some comments. It's gonna bring some comments. I mean it sucks that people are saying this shit to you, but you just have to accept for what it is. You're the most ugliest, horriblest, fattest, like person in the world. Yeah, it's just cringy, dude. Uh like, you know, if you didn't want this what are you doing, Becky? Like, you have to know to a certain degree that this shit's gonna pop up. Like you can't you can't make this Come on, Becky, bro. Come on, man. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve you is Oh, man. I want Becky to continue making videos, bro. She's amazing. She's beautiful. I just hope she starts to lose weight or change the diet in a very significant way because, like, where she is right now is, like, actually terrible. Make sure to check out the Becky videos I do on her, though. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of a short one today, but I had to do a lot of stuff, and I don't have a lot of time today, so... I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. I don't know what the length or the girth of this video is exactly, but you are an amazing person for watching the entire video all the way through. Thank you so much for giving me that support. I appreciate if everybody could like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff really, really helps me in the algorithm. So if you can help, if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously, but you just simply being here is enough for me. You such an amazing, beautiful, spectacular person. Anyway, um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in dongle. I don't know how to spell dongle. D-O-N-G dong. I-L-E. I don't know. Dongle. But this is a dongle where you like plug something in and then plug it in over there. Then like whatever. I had to buy one for my phone because they don't have 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks anymore. So I have to like buy something else because like I only use 3.5 millimeter. I'm not going to buy like a... You know, even this is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack just plugged into the back of my microphone because, like, I don't like having big things on my head. You know what I'm talking about? Like, headphones and stuff? I don't like that. It hurts my ears. hurts my head. I don't like that. My ears are kind of weird already. Like, I got weird ears. Like, this one's fine. But then this one is, like, this one's pointy. So, it's, like, I don't know. I just have weird ears, and they just never fit correctly. So, but anyway, you're a beautiful person. I appreciate your existence. Thank you for being here. You're an amazing, beautiful, spectacular, well-lubricated, awesome, I know you're wearing deodorant type person. Not being musty today is always important to ensure that when you're around other people, they don't go, what the?
What is, what is that smell? What? Oh, it's you. But you smell good in general. So no matter what you do, it's always going to be great. Anyway, guys, uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, um, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, other channel. Make sure you check out all that stuff. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.